Hello my beautiful simmies and welcome back to another speed build. Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. I hope you had an amazing day. Believe it or not, today is the day where I'm finally making a 100 baby challenge house. I'm not going to play this but I really wanted to make a house for that amazing amazing challenge that people are playing like for years and before i start i just want to mention that i have thanks to electronic arts a creator's code that you can use with your purchase of any pack on sims4.com or ea app and um, it's not a discount but it's a way to um, support me as a creator I will get the percentage of your purchase and you just can imagine how that will mean to me uh, if you can support me uh, like that. So yes, um, um, oh my god, this is, um, believe it or not, one of my favorite um, a lot. Uh, it's uh, placed in Brillington Bay and I believe the name of this lot is, oh my god, it's a good house, I believe, that's the name, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's one of the best best um, you know lots um, in this game and I'm really looking forward to to build here once again um, just because of the landscape the placement um, how everything looks like the neighborhood it's just like you know chef's kiss and I really do love that beautiful red bridge um, um, that you can see in the distance so yeah I'm making very big house but not like a huge house that you can actually you had chance to to see on my channel but um, somehow I thought that we really need a bigger house for this challenge and I'm making everything like um, you know furnished already done um, you have everything that you need for that challenge just because i saw i, I know that a lot of people actually uh playing this from the scratch like um just like that other uh, oh my god what's the name of that challenge racks to riches yeah but somehow when you're playing already difficult um, challenge you really need a good house for that and this is by the way a CC version yeah I mean why not I really do love how everything um, um, looks like at the end I really 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 paid attention to every single detail I really um, try to you know include um, everything that you need for the gameplay so basically um, uh, when you're watching this from the outside you have a huge playground for the kids guys um, everything that I could everything that I could find I actually included here so you have a tree house from growing together you have um, even like slides and um, swings and a pool and small pool for the kids I actually added in the garage uh, that's more like a pool for babies you know for toddlers and probably uh, smaller kids yeah and um, just because I started you know building this um, in different season it's not a summer this is the autumn I, I believe you already noticed that and since it's like a autumn I think it's a perfect house for this uh, to start a new challenge guys uh, if you are willing to play something like this and also I decided to add just a you know couple of small activities for a mom um, um, if you are willing to play you know with the garden you have um, these plots from uh, cottage living that you can plant your own um, um, vegetables for example I already placed the pumpkins because you know it's autumn planters as well but in the garage I also decided to add a couple of more planters from uh, eco lifestyle somehow I thought I don't know uh, no I was thinking about adding the greenhouse but uh, I don't know I, I decided not to so basically you have like outside a garden and also you can uh, if you really want plant something in the garage 
I don't know. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I decided to switch this pool and um, try this new feature that we have, of course, like uh, round pools. But and I really do love how this ended up because um, I don't know. Somehow it looks so much better than uh, the square one. And yeah. Oh my god. I really do love animals in this. Um, game guys i really needed to add at least at least chickens and i already placed the chickens and um, you don't have to buy it you have everything that you need literally so you can have your own like eggs and things like that or just i, I really do love that um animation between kids and uh, chickens it's such a cool thing even though you can actually die from the chicken in this game but yeah never mind i, I really wanted to add them and um, it's next to the garage and i also put the oh my god um the fence because i some some sometimes i really don't like them to walk around um but just because i think the whole lot it's not surrounded by the fence maybe that was the idea behind why i decided to close them over here but if you don't like them to be close behind this fence you can just delete the fence yeah of course um, um i don't know i really do love how this garden and the backyard looks like um uh, you have a lot of different you also have a lot of space to add something if i missed something in the meantime probably i missed something that you need i know that i also added a basketball um hoop yeah hoop basketball hoop I think that's the name <laughs> oh my god today i cannot remember anything anyways <laughs> um i'm finishing up this um, um exterior finally and i really want to show you guys what i did inside of the house so the interior oh my um i believe this is not the biggest house that i ever did on my channel but definitely the most challenging one yeah um just because when you are playing this no when you are building this for a challenge and not actually playing the challenge it can be very tricky um because i know i watch so many videos i watch so many like twitch channels playing this and that's why i fell in love with this um, challenge and that's the reason why i am building a house for this challenge and i believe i did a great job and i think that you won't add anything <laughs> i literally go through every single room and um, thinking is this enough is this like that you really need or um did i miss something yeah it's crazy um the reason be oh my god i have one doubt and you will guys uh, actually going to tell me um, um i put the main bedroom like mom's bedroom down here on the main floor and i also added next next to her bed like a bassinet and I'm, I'm not so sure i really wanted to use the bassinets from the charlie pancakes you were about to see that very quickly but if that bassinet are not I, I they are functional i know for sure they are functional but i have some kind of a doubt that when you gave birth to a um, you know baby um you will get that like default um uh, bassinet so yeah if you have problem with that pre please remove this bassinet or just like you know remove that default one and and place your baby to the bassinet that i actually 
um, added in that bedroom. I just cannot recall. I don't know why I was so confused. But yeah, let's just keep that part. You are guys going to tell me whether this is functional or not. But also on this main floor, I decided to add one, like a full bathroom. And also you have a laundry over here. Oh my God, you are just watching this part. But yeah, I also decided to add a laundry. I don't know. Um, that challenge is very challenging without any other activities that you need but um, if you really don't want to um, you know wash the laundry because I know the house is going to be very messy and everyone is going to uh, leave the clothes around the house when they are changing especially the kids yeah just you know close this door it's not going to be functional but later if you decide to use this house for a different kind of gameplay um, you have full-on beautiful laundry and I'm always excited when I can add a laundry I don't know I love that realism I love to have very realistic house especially houses like this this could be also such a perfect house um, uh, for a huge family because you literally have Oh my god, four bedrooms, I believe. Yeah, just because I decided one bedroom not to use uh, for the kids, like for the sleeping, I decided to actually make like a study room for the kids. Somehow I really didn't want to, uh, you know, um, add um, tables in the bedrooms. I really wanted to add a lot of different fun activities for the kids around the house and inside of the house because they really need to do something. <laughs> Especially when they grow, um, they can do their own thing. Um, you don't have to take care of them all the time. And But I know uh, this challenge you have to pay attention to every kid and talk with every kid and you know um, do like a parenting thing yeah and uh, here this is the like a main um, room uh, that everyone will hang out and you have a TV over here and I decided to add the piano I also um, added a guitar and violin because probably someone uh, will play some kind of an instrument and it's very good uh, for the gameplay for the kids for aspirations and you know everything on the side and that oh my god I really, really do love the llama table um, um, that's the reason why I also decided to use that one such a fun fun project for me guys i really do love this if you have some other challenge in your mind please let me know down in the comments because um, i love challenges myself um but like a build challenges not the gameplay challenges um, once i played seven toddler challenge i believe something like that when i was starting this uh, whole journey and um, I removed those videos because they were on my language. Yeah, it will not going to be very interesting for you uh, to watch because you won't understand the thing. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I removed those videos, but I had so much fun. I needed to take care of seven toddlers seven days. I believe that was the challenge. And it was a huge challenge it was like um, two years ago maybe even more at this point I'm not so sure which is crazy how long I am actually doing this um, and having this channel it's crazy yeah we are finally upstairs guys and over here we have two bathrooms and like I said two bedrooms um, this bedroom for example is for the bigger kids so when they move from the bassinet and from the toddler stage um, this is the bedroom for the kids and we have four bedrooms over here and I decided to use a bunk beds because yeah you have four kids in the bedroom and it's better to use a bunk bed so I really do love that I love the color scheme I use a lot of um, um, you know yellow and blue um, um, the CC list is not very long even though it looks like it uh, but <laughs> it's not very long I use like the same creators and um, not 
so much of different you know sets which is also very crazy uh, the only thing I really needed to include is everything that I could everything that I could find for the uh, for the kids especially for the activities I, I, I found very beautiful sets as well uh, for this you know challenge for example but I really didn't want it to make you know a long list that you need for this just because the the overall the house is very big and if you need to download more custom content it's not going to be good i know for sure just because i hate making um the list cc lists but yeah this is the last bedroom and um, I didn't record the bathrooms, yeah, because they are literally the same. And guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Like always, you can find this on my Patreon page and on my gallery. Just include the custom content, please, guys. And stay for the house tour because you're about to see every single detail in this house. And love you all and see you next time in my next build. Bye bye everyone.